Hey guys, this is Julia, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Windows Update will constantly check for updates and never find any. So I've noticed if you do a fresh install of Windows 7 with Service Pack 1, or you install Service Pack 1 at, in Windows Update, that it doesn't want to update anymore, and it always just keeps checking and checking. As you can see, it's done some updates, and it's done Service Pack 1 right here. And ever since it did this batch of updates, I could never get Windows Update to actually update successfully again. Because it would always, I'd hit check for updates, it would just say checking for updates for like ever. I would just let it sit there, it would never find any. See, it last checked in April because I've not used it in a while and I used it a couple days ago. And it actually installed the update agent, but it still wouldn't check for updates, but... I'm going to show you guys how to fix it, which I actually have this nice little folder, which is the fix the glitchy broken update system. And you could use this fix it that I have here, but to be honest, I've not used it once and only used the other updates and it, it worked just fine. So see, I have for 64 and 32 bits. So we're going to go to X64 since this computer is 64 bit. As you can see, we're 64 bit operating system. So we're gonna X out of here. These are the three updates that you're gonna need to install. It is KB3102810, KB3135445, and KB3138612. So you'll need all those three because um, all those three, I, it supposedly fixes it. I, th I think one of them completely fixes it. Maybe one of these would just work, but I just say install all these three because every time I've done that on every Windows 7 installation that wouldn't update, it updated after that. So we're going to install this one and say yes, which I believe this one fixes it from the it taking up all the memory and CPU usage. I believe that's what this update does. So it says it's installing, the updates are being installed, which it kind of looks like Windows XP, but it's like the Windows 7 update icon, as you can see. Oh, there we go. So it's installing the update. Actually, while it's installing, you can see that at mine updates, which I actually have some Windows updates, so we're actually going to install them all, except for I don't want the one, I don't even have a keyboard, so I don't know why it's showing that. So we're not going to use that because I only use the keyboard keyboard on the laptop itself. I've never even hooked up a keyboard to it, so I don't know. But anyways, it's installing the update still. And it says I want to reboot, but we're going to close it because we're going to reboot after installing all three. So now we're going to install this one. And I actually turned the Wi-Fi off because um, so it doesn't try to check for updates again because I notice when it does that, it never wants to do the standalone installer thing, so I just to that, which actually I noticed that the time's actually wrong on here. I need to fix that. It's on the wrong time zone, I think. But anyways, this is downloading updates because it actually updates properly and it took me forever to get that Windows 7 installation update. And it appears it's stuck. I don't know why. Maybe we do have to reboot, because I see the Windows Update icon down here. Let's see. Okay, maybe we do need to reboot, so let me just reboot the system. And I'll come back when this is rebooted. So it's configuring Windows Updates right now, so maybe that has something to do with this updating. And this is actually moving along pretty quickly. You can see this Windows 7 update over here. It's, it's Windows Update works very well on this computer, which is awesome. So anyways, well, you can see it tried to boot in a Windows 10 since I have a dual boot. So that's like a glitch. Well, this is just preparing to install now. So hopefully this will be updating soon. So over here, we're going to click Windows 7 because, obviously, we don't want to be in Windows 10. That's the only problem. When you have a dual boot, it, like, boots up into Windows 10, and then it asks you what you want to boot up into. It's like, what's the point? Like, it should, it should just ask the second I turn the computer on, do I want 
Windows 7 or Windows 10, which my laptop does do. However, the weird thing is it automatically goes into Windows 10 if I shut it down. But if I actually reboot, then I can get into Windows 7. It's really weird. There that goes, and there goes the updates over here. Okay, so this is, I guess, going to configure Windows updates again. So after this, we're going to try to install the other ones and reboot and then check for updates again. So I'll come back. Okay, so we're back in our folder, so let's install the other two updates in here. Now that we rebooted... So, I don't know why, but like... Microsoft, their update system is broken. Like, it never wants to update. They need to do something about this. And then when you do get it to work, you get like 200 updates. Yeah, pretty ridiculous, huh? Because Microsoft didn't release a second service pack for Windows 7 when they should have. Okay, reboot. Okay, so. Initializing installation, and that's configuring Windows updates. And I'm going to pause this. So now the update is installing, we're making some progress, so I'll come back when this is done. So this one wants to reboot, but we're going to try to see if we can just hit close for now and try to install the third one, because it would be annoying to reboot every single time for every single update. But it's probably going to make us do that anyways. Yeah, it appears that way, so let me just reboot again. It's configuring, but it looks kind of frozen. Can anyone tell me why that logo there is kind of like frozen when it's loading the updates? Well, now it's done, but... See, this one's not frozen, but the other one is on my computer. My computer started doing that about around a week ago. Never used to do that before. I don't know what happened with it. Something happened. I don't, I don't know what. Okay, well, it's rebooting, so I'll come back. So. God darn it, Windows 10. I don't want to boot in Windows 10. I want to go in Windows 7. I wish it was so much. I just, I wish it just let me, like, right away. But anyways. Okay, so we're back in the folder, so let's install the last update here. And then reboot, and then go back to Windows Update, push check for updates, and see 200 updates. <laughs> or at least some updates. But it'll probably be 200. Okay, so let's hit yes, because of course we want to install this update. Why wouldn't we? So... Let's see, it's kind of initialize. Why does it always have to initialize the installation? It takes forever to initialize the installation. I mean, why is it just sitting here? It's not even doing anything. The hard drive activity light is not really doing anything. Maybe actually it is. It's lighting up a lot. But it's still initializing the installation. Now it's not. Yeah, it probably took about... I don't know how long. Hold on, this is being glitchy. Okay, my phone was being glitchy, so I wasn't sure what was happening here. But you can see on mine it says Windows installed new updates. So we're going to click on that to show you that the Windows update system used to be broken on this computer, but I went and fixed it, so now all the updates are all installed. So, yeah, big long list of updates. About 300 on this list. But, but anyways, let's get out of here. Okay. Okay, so 
We're getting there. Yep, there we go. Restart. Now it's going to restart, and when this computer comes back on, I'll open Windows Update, and I'll show you, I'll check for updates, and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so we're back, so we're going to put the internet back on, and we're going to go to Windows Update, and we are going to check for updates and see how long it takes. I'll time it by how many minutes it takes. So... Let's actually look at, okay, so it's 8.56, so I'm going to let this check, and I'll come back when it finds updates, and I'll show you what time it is, so I'll be back. Okay, so we're back, and it is 9.10, so it took a little, oh, kind of a while, but that's because this hasn't really been updated. So, of course, 233 updates, but when I do updates, I like to try to do maybe 30, 40, or 50 at a time. I don't try to do 200 at a time, because when I do that, it just completely throws it off. And we also have some optionals. So, when I do updates... I like to actually select some at a time, which I'm actually looking for something. Because I just actually read something today that Microsoft is trying to cut back the so many updates when you do reinstalls, but it doesn't look like they actually have. So that's actually interesting. But I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back, and I pulled up the website here saying that Microsoft ended the updating pane with the patch. Talking about they released a new convenience roll-up that'll cover five years of updates from 2011 to April of 2016. It's the first major patch since Service Pack 1 in February 2011. Oh, you'll need to install this for Windows 7 prior to the installation. Because well, it's weird how it's actually not showing up, so. But, I thought I'd show this because I thought this article was interesting. But, it looks like they didn't do anything because there's still 200 updates available, so. I was kind of making a joke earlier about the 200 updates, but. Seems like that still exists. Maybe they're still working on it, I don't know. But, anyways, that's how you get Windows Update to work. And I'm going to try to install this, but if this doesn't work, I'm probably just going to do just do 50 at a time, maybe. Don't do all 200 at once, it just slows it down. So, and I notice when you do them all at once, it's too many, it overwhelms it, and they all end up failing. And I've, I've had that happen, and it's it's just horrible. So that's why I just like to do like 50 at a time. Oh, look at this. It says new message available. I wonder what that's all about. Hmm. Just about scanning and updating and things like that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this video helps you guys. It helps you guys out. And hopefully this end of the part of this video helps you out with not having 200 updates. If you try to download this, check for updates again. See how many it gives you. I'll leave in the description what happens when I did that. So thanks for watching and bye-bye for now. And hope this helped.